Thunderbolt storm detector tracks active storms and the more stable the storm is in terms of its area or shape, its approach speed, and the electrical activity within the storm, the easier it is for your Thunderbolt to track. The text messages you'll get on your Thunderbolt tracking the storm will make perfect sense. This first storm we see is relatively stable and easily tracked. The next storm we're going to see is just the opposite. In fact, it's one of the most unstable storm fronts I've seen since I've been making these videos. This was a squall line that I watched approach for approximately 45 minutes and it was approaching at 30 miles an hour with an ETA of 45 minutes. And just look how this flares up around Allentown. Just to give you some scale, uh, the distance between Reading and Allentown is approximately 30 miles. So if you were sitting in Allentown watching this storm approach, you would have seen it go from approximately 40 miles, 45 minutes away to local in a matter of just a few minutes. And you might have thought, well, what's wrong with my Thunderbolt? Well, there's nothing wrong with the Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt saw it coming, it was tracking it perfectly, and it's the storm itself that became unstable. And once again, this shows why if you see a squall line or multiple storms approaching, head for shelter because the atmospherics in front of that squall line are incredibly unstable and you can be in danger in an instant. Situations like this show you just how important it is that you have a thunderbolt storm detector. That's because no warning service or alert can react fast enough to such rapidly changing conditions to warn you about the danger you're in.